Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. All right, so we still need to refurbish the ship and everything like that. And when I took a look at the footage while editing, this piece over here were actually slopes. So interesting to say, or interesting at the very least, that's what they should be, not these grades. So how did we get O2 in here then? I guess there wasn't any O2 in here for some reason or oxygen. In terms of vents and everything like that, I'm not quite sure. But anyways, last we left off was trying to get more resources. And in order to get more resources, we are not going the route of digging because I actually always have more fun that way. So we're going to go the route of basically scavenging and everything like that to replace parts that we need. So that's what this is. It's Basically, ship evolution again. <laughs> Which I never really finished the other series, but... It kind of died down, so... It kind of died down. I didn't really know what I was building at the end of the day. So, kind of skipped it. And left it as is for the time being. <laughs> but this time around, I'll try to finish it. Because I do have an end game in mind here. And has to finish refurbishing this ship. And then potentially evolve it a little bit based on any ships that we find and everything like that. And then we're going to continue on with our shipyard process that we had an idea of doing with the Astro Station. So we'll be coming back to that relatively soon. Okay, we're going to stop here because I know we're going to get shot down, obviously, because these markers more or less have weapons. Ooh. And of course, I am. I got myself into way too close. I'm gonna have to back out. Ouch. Is that thing coming after us? Oh, it is. That is interesting. <laughs> That's definitely not a good sign. Was not expecting that. Okay, but that's definitely not great. Because I think my interior turrets are toast. Yeah, that's not good at all. I didn't think that was a moving ship. But it is. So we got to take care of this thing as soon as possible. By flanking it if we can. Oh, it is an actual decently moving ship, too. Alright, that one's taken care of. Take care of this one. Okay, I think we're okay for it to not shoot us now. Ooh. I'm not sure what got us. But we still have a bit of a ship. Not really if we don't get out of the way. Is this thing is shooting us really bad. Alright, I need to... Yikes, this is a really, really bad situation. It's actually got my body location on the ship as well, so that's interesting. Ah, oh, come on.
All right, where is that turret? Ooh. Let's take care of this turret. We can hack it if we need to. And they'll shoot that one, which, yeah, it's fine. There should be another one elsewhere, I would assume. Wasn't sh Or we're good here. Okay, we are good. Okay. So that was a bit rough. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to take this ship and repair ours, or we take over that one. Either one works fine. Oh, I didn't realize how far we were. It's drifting away. I hope we still have enough, um, what's it call it? Thrusters and everything like that. To fly this ship. I think my ship is maybe drifting away, which is bad. <laughs> it may be that that may be the situation here. That's definitely not a good sign. I don't even know if my oxygen tank got destroyed or not. That's another bad situation if that is the case. Because we're gonna need to find oxygen somehow if that is the case. It's slightly drifting away, so it, yeah. So it needs to find a way to stop. I need to check on the oxygen tank. And that seems to be fine. Alright, perfect. So it's more or less, I need to fix... A thruster on this side, it looks like. Yeah. We need to fix that one. Uh, just need some large steel too, so we can find any. So, hopefully we don't drift too far off. Uh, tube. We don't have any. Jeez. We gotta build some. And of course we don't have any build. Great. I just need to fix that at least one. So we get some flight going. All right, I'm just gonna take this one apart. All right, that should slow us down. I don't know what else got destroyed. Uh, we definitely don't have that much going on here. All right, we just need small, large steel tubes to get our flight back, I think. So that one, this one. Ouch. Yeah, we lost a good chunk of thrusters from this ordeal. That stinks. What else got destroyed? Um, I think that's... We're okay. It's more or less the thrusters. Yeah. We're okay. Not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Alright, this is a problem because... Now we don't have enough um, steel plates for things. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the other ship was even drifting off as well. So that's also bad. Don't need. Don't think I need to fix that per se. Yes, we do. Because this one's off as well. All right, we have up, down. Yeah, we're okay for the most part. Take some from there. Just need a little bit of steel plates. Not too many, just a little bit. Construction components and... Okay, I think that's more than enough just to get this one up and running. That's good, this one. Okay, we should be okay in terms of this ship. So that was a really, really bad call to go after that ship, which was an actual <laughs> ship ship. A moving ship. All right, now here's another problem. I don't know where that ship went. I 
except that it was around this direction. I hope I can spot it. I don't know if it drifted off not though. That's the biggest problem. So it's definitely in this direction. So we're, we're going to find it no matter what. Because we needed that for parts. The antenna still should be attached. So it should be showing us where it is. I think it's that right there potentially. Not sure. We. I hope we'll get to, we'll get to it soon enough. So I do not want to lose that part. Kind of wish this window was kind of thick so it'd be more clear. <laughs> Can't really see through it that well. It was a fairly small ship, so I'm not sure where it went. We'll find it for sure. Should have did a GPS marker beforehand, but oh, right, is that it? That must be it right there. There's the SPRT ship, which it should be right. So it is that little marker right there. Now we can find a way to merge that ship to our ship if we need to. I don't think we do need to. Oh, here's another problem. I just remembered. Uh, okay, we have a problem. We can't stop. Yeah, yeah, we are thrust list on one end. I don't know which end. <laughs> We're going to have to find that out soon. Which end are we thrust list on? Are right, we slowing down? Oh, come on. Here we go. We have up, down. No, we don't have up. Okay, we have, I mean, we don't have down, and we don't have, what? We don't have forward thrust either? I mean, backwards? I right, we're just going to find a way, gonna, we're just going to do this really quickly, slow down. All right, that's slow enough <laughs> to get us where we needed to get us. So, I thought I fixed this one, unless I didn't, I did. But is the... Oh, there's the timer block that I've been looking for. <laughs> Don't need that. That's not broken, so... These are not on. So something along the way is knocked out. Because they are not getting the hydrogen that it needs. So... Right there. That's what's broken. There. There. That should fix that to slow us down, right? Or... Nope. We have other things that are broken. We need motors, which... Don't even know if we can get any motors. We need iron. That's the, our biggest problem. Um... We gotta break down some more things. I don't even know what to break down at this point. Um, I guess we can do the metal grids. That should give us a lot of iron. Yeah, eight. Yeah, that should be a decent amount. <laughs> All right, so that was really bad. Um, was not expecting it to move. <laughs> If it didn't move, I think we would have been okay. But, yeah. That was rough. Still need more iron. Shoot. Alright, that's... We just gotta fix this up. So then we can get moving. Um, I can get motors from somewhere. Other than the door, I guess. I don't know. We can't disassemble superconductors, can we? We can. Okay. That... Doesn't gain a lot either, but better than nothing. I would assume that's the best case scenario right now. Yeah, this is rough, rough, rough in the beginning. Um, get that going. All right, that should work fine. That should give us the thrust that we need. All right, we should be okay now. Hmm, yeah. 
upwards, left thrust, backward thrust, we have right thrust. What else we need? I think that's it, right? We should slow down by now. Are we slow down? We're not completely slowed down for some reason. Oh, we don't have up. All right, let me fix that upward, downward thruster, not upward thruster. Downward thruster right here. There we go. Perfect. That's, now we should be slowing down fully. Okay. Now the thing is, I do have a turret there. But the, we do have something that's not owned by us, which I got rid of the timer, so that's fine. It was an oxygen generator. I have no idea where that is. I should probably find it. Um, I feel like it's on the bottom somewhere, but probably not. I don't know. Wait, how did this? Uh, I guess I closed it up. Because <laughs> this is actually supposed to be... Going to the bottom, right? Yeah, I closed it up. I don't know what that O2 generator is. It should be down here, I would assume. Oof. All this is kind of just toast. We don't necessarily need that there, so... That's that's weird that that's there. Where's the other one, then? I don't know. It's hidden somewhere, or am I just not seeing it for whatever reasons? This is the one we placed. Nope, that's not even an O2H2 generator. Where is the oxygen generator on here? On the other side? Um. Oh, wait. This is the downward. Sorry. <laughs> this is the O2 gen. I don't know where the other one is. It's, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Because I, I don't know if that turret that I salvage is going to shoot that, if anything. I hope not. I mean, we salvage it, if anything. Because this turret that I was going to shoot, so I'm just going to turn it off. So that will be fine. So now I can bring this thing ready close to that ship. And we'll figure out what that ship is in a second. I don't think I've encountered this one before. I could be wrong. So I'm going to fly close to it and basically extract what we need out of it. I forget we have only one thruster, so that's rough to maneuver with. But this thing has a large one, so this is going to be very interesting, to say the least. All right, so that looks like a lot bigger ship than ours. <laughs> this is Stingray. This is... I'm not even sure what this one is. Uh, there's cargo here. Let's get check out what the cargo in here has. Imagine running to this one first instead of the Stingray that we have. Alright, what is this one called? This is the Imp. So, this is the Imp. Ooh, it's got hydrogen and everything. Interesting. There is a way that I can merge this ship together because it has a connector. Which is fairly useful. So I think I might do that. And try to refurbish both ships if necessary. I mean, obviously I would prefer to scrap what I can out of it. But we could still scrap what we can out of it and still put it together, I think. I mean, this is upside down anyway. So the... So it should be this way around, like this is up, but I'm going to try to connect it to our connector down here, uh, wherever that is. Yeah, right around here. So I may have to get rid of this stuff here for now and get rid of these as well. Gonna need to. Like so. And then we're going to merge the ship together through connectors. For the time being. Um, we could flip-flop it. 
the right way around or not. I don't know. I don't even know what to do with this, to be honest. Kind of want to keep it, kind of don't. Because <laughs> we need mats, but... We could put it part of the ship. Well, we could connect it to extract the hydrogen as well. So that's something we're going to have, to, we're going to need anyways. Let's open the door and see what's inside. And before we do that, obviously, let's check for any other turrets or anything like that. Nope. All right. I think we're good. We're going to bust open the door up. Check it. What's inside. We have a survival kit. So that's great. Here's the seat. But this is how we get flight. So we'll take over that. We'll take over this as well. We're we're getting close to getting a medical bay. <laughs> we need 50 medical components and we just got what? Six total? Maybe seven. No oxygen there. Alright, so this is just the pilot's seat here. Just the window. Yep, and a chair. And the rest is just your everyday things like Gatlin's, your um your your batteries it looks like your hydrogen tanks so most more or less most of this is all over here in the middle that's what it looks like so that's not terrible Ooh, lucky i can still extract all those okay so yeah i think we're gonna put what i can onto this ship i'm gonna attach it. i'm gonna use both of these ships for sure I don't think I fly just yet, so let's see what I can do with this. Let me get some hacking done first. Alright, so two hydrants for us. Battery I'm not going to take care of just yet. Another car container. Nothing inside. Batteries I can take out soon. Um, do I have this O2H2? We do now. That's the survival kit that we already took. And there's like no way to get back there except from, from the top, I guess. And there's a programming block that we don't need. So we extract that or grind it down. Here we have a timer for the antenna. I'll take that off. And then we get the survive kit there. Okay. That's a gyroscope. This is the remote control that I took over. So I think we're pretty much done. Well, we didn't take over the gyroscope, so we gotta do that for sure. Okay. The camera beacon. There's actually a merge block on here too. Oxygen tanks. Ooh, even better. More oxygen. <laughs> Where is that located? Um, is it here? I think I see something here. Yep, the oxygen tank tanks right there. Perfect. So we could put this onto our ship. And we can borrow parts for sure. All right, we gotta kind of mend this all back together a bit because this is messed up. So definitely not going very, very well so far. <laughs> um, but more or less is okay. All right. So my interior turret did kind of take out <laughs> at least some of it for sure. So that's a good thing. Okay. Now, do I have the ability? To remote control into this one here. No, because it doesn't. Ha I don't have the access to either the beacon and or an antenna. So that's what we need. All right. So this is the beacon. Oh no, there's a rocket launcher. We should take over. It probably has rockets in there. Did I take over this? And there's a merge block already here. So that's good. So technically, oh, I can't even make a merge block yet. What do we need to make a merge block? 
Merge block is right here. So what is going on? Why can't I make the merge block? Do we need to make, oh, we need to make, we made a control button before. I'm confused. <laughs> what do we need to make this? Is it the solar panels? I guess it is. But I don't think I matched for a solar panel, do I? Probably not. I mean, we can make a small grid version of it just to satisfy it, right? We just throw it right there and see if we have the mats for it. Actually, we might or no. No, we probably don't have the, um, we don't have the solar panels. I think that's the only thing we're missing when it comes to that. And Oh no, looks like we're okay. Nope, we're okay. Okay, that works out. And let me charge up really quick because we're gonna need some power to start doing more stuff. But while we sit here in the imp, oh, the name's right here. We gotta find the, yeah, the, the, the beacon and take out the oxygen for ourselves. There's still more car containers, so we gotta find those. Okay, it's going to be upside down once I put it in a connector. Which is fine for the time being, I think. Yeah, it should be fine. All right, let's just do this. So basically, we are doing this. Ooh, we got good flight on this so far. This is really, really nice. This ship is much better off than what we have down there. <laughs> um, based on maneuverability and everything like that. And it has a lot of hydrogen, so that's good. Okay, so we're gonna connect it through the connectors here. So it's gonna bump a little bit, but it's fine. And then we're gonna line it up as correctly as possible. I think we're pretty there, pretty much there. So take the connector, put it on lock, and we're good. So this will be upside down a bit, which is, like I, like I said before, fine for now. Um,. It looks okay. I think if I can move this back a little bit more, it'll look nice. But it could be better as a wing. So if we had two of these, that would work. But we don't have two. <laughs> okay, so this thing is more or less all light armor blocks. So it's not a heavy armor fighter or anything like that. Which is fine. Now, again, we are going to look for some things. So, what is that? So, this is the opening to that. O2. Um, what is with that? All right. So, no, that's fine. Don't know where everything is. That's conveyor junctions. Right, so then the oxygen tank, I'll take over. That one, and then there's one over here. But I don't know where that beacon is. The beacon, well, it would have been a point where... It was blinking for us. <laughs> so it's got to be somewhere. It is, can't be in here. It's probably in, it could be in here. Yep, perfect. Found it. <laughs> Just like that. We'll take over the beacon. How many beacons does it have? That's a question. Should be just one. Yeah, I think it was just one. Then what's over here then? A timer block. Okay, we don't need a timer block. Oh, okay. I see what they did. Instead of a beacon, they put two timer blocks there. So that's what that was. And then the last thing is a camera, which I have no idea where that is. It should be in the front somewhere, right? Right there. Yep. So that's a camera. Do we need a camera? No, but we'll take it over anyways. And we're good. So this is the imp attached to a stingray.
<laughs> and we got some weapons. All right, so now the tricky part is I need lots and lots of iron, which we don't have. So that's going to be the tricky part because our ship is worse for wears at the moment. Unless I abandon this ship. I don't know. Probably not a good idea. I do enjoy this ship a lot. So let's try to keep it. But we, we're probably going to have to find some other ship in order to salvage off of it. So we'll see how that kind of goes. Um, and this is more of a fighting ship because it does have the heavy armor. Which I guess more or less did save us. So that's a good thing. And we just got this turret up and running, but luckily we took over everything from the other ship, so nothing for it to shoot. We lost, ooh, we lost a good chunk on this side. That's not good. All right. The imp is basically fully intact. <laughs> That's the good thing about it. It's got tons and tons of um, oxygen in there too, which is even better, right? Because then the oxygen tanks, we have a good number of them now. Like, I think we could throw our oxygen tank in there, right? Nope, something's broken. That's not good. And we still got our oxygen tank connected to the survival kit, so that's always a good sign. <laughs> but my connector is not connected to anything, so we got to figure out what that is. In this case, uh, unless something just broke, let me just take this apart. So is this, this is connector, connector. That is the conveyor. I, nope, the conveyor should be fine. I hope. Hard to say. Um, we have so much things that are broken here. Interior wall crushed like a smashed burger. <laughs> the interior, no, the conveyor that's underneath, is there, is it broken or is it fine? It is, it's fine. So it should have its connections. So I'm not sure why our connection point is not working on the O2 over there. I mean, it's going to the connector into the hydrogen tank and into the oxygen tank right that should be the case where did i open up the oxygen tank here the oxygen tank mm, yeah it's connected to the cargo container here so it should be able to get into the oxygen tank so why is it not allowing that to happen i'm not quite sure unless something's unless i'm not fully taking over i mean they are taking over so what is the problem here i can put an oxygen tank here i mean a bottle there oh it, my bottle just got sucked up by my original one no an O2H2 system. Interesting. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Um, we'll figure that out. Where is my? I need. I need to fill up this oxygen tank, anyways. I mean, bottle, anyways. So put that here. 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 No, actually, no. We are fine. How come? Okay, that was weird. I think I was putting them in the oxygen generators for some reason. Okay, so there's a business shipment that we can go to. That's also an idea. How we can get some parts, but that's probably a big ship that's going to be more than enough parts. <laughs> um, yeah, there's really no way to salvage my ship, is there, if, I, if I'm going to keep this. I do want to keep it, so that's the thing. How should I attach it better? Probably on the side here. So, let's see. I mean, more or less, they don't necessarily need an up or down. 
I could attach it as a wing. And there's an there's another mayday, so we can always work with that. But for now, let's attach it on the right hand side right over here, if anything. So let's see here. If we do a merge block here, I think we're good to go. Uh, yeah. Can we make a merge block now? We could. Perfect. So need a solar panel for some reason. So I'm thinking if we put a merge block here. I mean, it doesn't ruin the, the entire design of this ship at all. Well, actually, I'll put it here. Yeah, I'll put it here. Yeah, so it won't ruin the design of the ship. And um, it, it'll just go with it. Yeah, so we're going to end up putting it here. Yeah, that should be a problem. Well, problem is we need large steel tubes, which is hard to come by. We don't scrap a a ship or a resource or any kind. So we definitely need to do that relatively soon. I'm going to have to find that mayday. 17 away. It's pretty far. Okay, we put that there. Now the problem here is we do need a connection point, um, which we're going to have to build upon because it can merge right over here, but then the connector is not going to be connected to anything. So we need to find a spot to connect everything else. Not a big deal, but yeah, we'll figure that out. Okay, let's just do this. Connector. Unlock. Okay, where, which side was it that we were looking at the merge block on this side? So we're going to go this way. Flip around. Like that. Um, a little bit more. Right there, line it up right there. That's going to be perfect. Now the merge block is going to be right here. So we will stick it down. Oh. We'll stick it down right over here. And that's what the ship is going to look like if the merge block was actually complete. <laughs> there. Okay. So merge block into that. The connector is there. Which will be right over here, which is a problem. Um, I'm going to find a way to connect this into the ship. Right, probably right over there. I think that lines up. I don't know if I have parts to line it up that way, but that should be where it lines up. Um, get into the ship, though. It would be nice if I could find another one of these imps. Oop. Okay, this is not good if I'm going to move the other ship around too much. Um, what? <laughs> we have issues. We have issues. What is the issue here? We can get rid of the connector, I guess, for now. Is that the issue? Or is that the issue with the rock? Oh no, it's a light. So we didn't necessarily need to take out that connector. So it's the light. We don't even need a rocket there to be honest, but we'll leave that for the time being. But this is going to be fine. Let's just hope it locks in. There. That's our new ship. <laughs> Combined Imp Stingray. So I didn't hook it on backwards, right? No, this is it's on the it's on the right arm section. All right, that's looking decent, not bad for exploration ship for the time being, you know, even a attacking ship. Now I was saying that is this lined up? Oh, it's perfectly lined up. This is perfect. If I have enough mats, I can connect this together. And again, that's if I have enough mats. <laughs> um shoot i wish we did have enough mats but let's see we could probably get it going and we'll do the t here 
And we're going to have to attach it throughout. Let's see. Do we have mats for it? We rarely have any mats. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so it's going to go straight through like this. We were good for two. And that's about it. And then we don't have any motors. No, we don't have motors. Yikes. So we definitely need to strip some kind of ship in order to get what we need to get done. I think we're golden here. Yes, we are. So now we're connected both ships. We don't lose the look and feel of it, really. Yep, perfect. So steel plate. I think it was a conveyor junction here for the turrets, right? So we're just going to place a block here. For now, um, this block here for now. What else was missing out of here? We took out the timer that was here, I think it was. Or even down there. I don't even know what's up down there. What was here? Nothing. It was just down here, actually. And here was just another coverage point. You had the Gatling over here, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. Perfect. Okay, why are these on fire? Is it because they were previously attached? I believe so. Not attached. I mean, um, perfectly running. Yeah, that one was perfectly running before. So we can fix this one. We need what? Seven and three. Um, let's see. Need seven metal grids, which I think we had just enough of. Oop, I made eight. Okay, that's fine. And three of these. All right, so things are looking decent. Not that that bad. <laughs> we still need a few more mats to take care of certain things, but um. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it, it out soon enough. All right, so the bottom part, I don't remember what it even looked like. So that's going to be hard to figure out. Um, <laughs> yikes. So we had an uh, interior wall piece here. And an interior turret. But on the bottom, oof, I don't remember exactly how this looked like. That's not good. It definitely was all curved and everything like that too, so I gotta fix that somehow. That sucks. <laughs> Kinda lost the look and feel of the ship. I may have to check back to see what it looked like. That one I don't think is gonna go anywhere. Um We'll just do that for now. Okay, so definitely Put these blocks back here. Um, looks like there's a block back here. And it looks like it was curving a little bit. So, yikes. I don't know exactly how this is going to look. So that was kind of attached to here. Like so. Hmm. Don't recall exactly what that looked like. <laughs> we will have to figure that out soon enough. But we are good here. We should just go salvage something so we can um, figure out or get the mats that we need. So we can fix up these ships together. Or more or less this ship. The other ship is perfectly fine. But now we have extra power to maneuver. Ooh, our rocket got destroyed. Oh, that was what that was down there. A rocket launcher. Right. So we could kind of replace that if we need to. <laughs> that really sucks. I didn't even realize we lost the rocket launcher. All right, so I'm waiting for that mayday to spawn. Maybe we have a better chance at finding a mayday and fighting a mayday rather than any other ships. 
But I'm not sure where that midi was. Oh, right there. 17 away. In what direction? I don't know. This way? I mean, let me stay here for a sec and see where it pops up. Okay, so in that direction right there. All right, perfect. Well, that's where we're going to head off to. Ooh, that big booster. <laughs> it's like having one large one arm. <laughs> it's so fast. And boosting, so that's good. I don't know about slowing down though. I mean, how much <laughs> do we have? We only got three, maybe four. Nope, three thrusters going backwards. So, yikes. We gotta be careful about that. I would have preferred that ship to be either a little bit more back or a little bit more forward. Hmm. Okay, for now. I think we're gonna use the Mayday ship that's in front of us. If it's not like fully intact and I can't redesign it, or refurbish it. I'm probably just going to dismantle it. And likely dismantle it because I need parts. This ship is worse for wears as you see here. <laughs> it's really, really bad. The I put back the interior turret. The Gatlin was already there. That I took over. To help destroy another turret. Which was great. I should have really packed them. So I could get the, the, the ammo from it. Which I think I have a decent amount of Gatlin ammo anyways, so that's fine. Uh, Gatlin turret. Mm, okay, so that's a problem. Wait, is that another Mayday or am I heading the wrong direction? <laughs> that must be another Mayday, I hope. Alright, so Gatlin that I have here is not attached to anything or it's not getting proper tubes piping. I'm going to figure that out in a sec because it's got no, um, what's it may call it. All right. I'm going to try to slow down. We're not going to slow down too, too much right here. I mean, we're not getting in front of it too, too close yet, but let's see what's going on here. So we have the O2 H2 that should be connected to a connector right over here. Actually. Yeah. So why are you not pulling from the ammo box? Which is this small car container. Hmm. Not quite sure. Everything here should be connected, right? Unless something's broken back here, but I doubt that. I mean, I shouldn't doubt that, but that could be the problem. Or something's broken in here that I'm not aware of. Um, but that connects here to here to here, which connects everything to the hydrogen tank. So the hydrogen tank into this here, which just connects to the hydrogen tank as well. And then underneath here, we got the pipes that are looking fine. So, hmm, what is the problem then? And these, these are junctions of fine. Or not. Something's broken. All right, this is broken. That's not good. <laughs> Um, but more or less, that shouldn't be the, the issue. And then all this should connect to where? I don't know. Where does it connect to? <laughs> this connects out here only. And into the hydrogen. Um, then there's, there's the problem. So it doesn't connect into this car container, does it? It probably does doesn't <laughs> so that could be the problem right yeah unless it's all connected through here no it connects here Wait, so the hydrogen tank connects through here to the it doesn't connect to the hydrogen engine there does it i don't recall if there is the piping down here or up or closer to the base it is no nope, no nope, it's connected through that 
that's connected through here to here to here. So I should be it will swap the Gatling from there, but it's not letting me do that. So that's interesting. So it should be all connected from here to here to here. Oh, this is off. Could that be why? Is that the problem? If it's on and I get the Gatling. Nope, that's not the problem. I don't see why it wouldn't be able to maneuver the Gatling into this thing here. That makes no sense to me. And that Kamehameha Junction is perfectly fine. So what is the problem? Again, that's connected to back here. And that should go into here, here. Hmm, something I'm missing. It's fine, whatever. Unknown situation. I mean, we just throw in the Gatlin there anyway, so it should be okay. I guess the only thing I can really see is if, if there's anything broken in there. I don't think so. But again, that's going through here and in here. So that looks like it's fine. And that goes into here to here. So what is the problem? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that is problematic. All right, whatever. We're not going to focus too, too much on that. Let's continue forwards. The mate is three away. We also have an unknown signal. Should we just get the unknown signal? Probably. And no way to get parts is probably to find an economy base. The economy base, I should be able to do some like missions or something like that. And basically make some money and then buy some parts and everything that we need. Is that an asteroid? It's kind of interesting. All right, we're going to just situate ourselves right here. Then we don't get too close. We have a beacon on this. Yes, we do. What oh, is that? Is that? No, that's... I have no idea what that is. That looks really destroyed. So we're going to go to... Are we getting shot at? I'm using this as my protective barrier for now. Um... <laughs> Can I just shoot, use this as my shield as I push forward? That'd be interesting. <laughs> Tining seemingly to working okay. <laughs> Gonna take the parts really quick. Oop. Ow, 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 ow. That was not okay. That was a bad idea. All right, we we may need to dump some stuff really quick. I mean, we could probably target the weapon from afar, but that's going to destroy the ship, which I don't want because I want the, the mats. So I'm going to do the old fashioned way. Let's dump everything that we don't need. Um, I guess we don't need the rifle. That's fine. We don't need that. We need these and we need the bottles or anything. All right. So that's fine. Hopefully we don't get destroyed here, but here goes nothing. Um, we don't, I don't even know where the weapons are, but we can always find out once we get close. I see it right there. Nothing else is shooting us, so we should be okay. Ooh, that's a pretty destroyed ship and it's got ion, ion here. So this is a good example of what to take out because... Um, it's pretty destroyed. So the turret, I think there's one right over here. Nope. Looks like it's just on that side, wherever that is. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I think my body location is in a safe spot. So that's a good thing. I get around it. Yep, because there's only one large Gatlin turret there. I'm just facing right at it. That's great. Okay. 
Here we go. So get my stuff back. We can dump this. We don't need this. Oop. There we go. So the Gatlin is right in front of us. So it's like right in this vicinity. Which, there it is. So we'll take it over. So hopefully we get the mats from it. And there's no ammo. So how was it shooting us? Or did it waste all its ammo on us? <laughs> Great. I think, yeah, that's a pretty destroyed ship. So this is what we're going to utilize to fix our ship, it looks like. And I think that is the way to go. And I don't, don't recall what this thing really looks like, but I think the rocket launcher was right down here, pointing this way. Yeah. Right, right, I remember now. And this was the the weird piece. And I left this open at one point in time. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. I think we're good there in terms of design. Um, let's get this thing over to that ship. Let's turn our Gatlins off just in case. So we're going to go on a salvaging mission. Where's all my thrusters? <laughs> Guess we could turn around to slow down. <clears throat> okay. So here is the ship itself. Wow. We're just getting way too close to it. We need an, uh, a quick access point. Yeah, we do have one right here to dump stuff. So we'll throw that in there. What ship is this? This is, it's almost looking like the imp, but it's not. And claim it. This is the, the breeze, encounter the breeze. So it's not really a ship. Can I refurb this ship? Probably not. As you see, it's pretty wrecked. So this is the ship that we're probably Gonna just jack everything, take it over, use it as steel plates, use it as what we need it for. And we should be good to go. One unique thing I was thinking about doors, and it should be hard to open a door or grind down a door in the front, but they should make it easier to do on the sides. <laughs> that would be interesting. But I guess, you know, that's probably not how it works. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take out everything that we can is on the ship so then we can save it and fix our ship back together but luckily we have like the tier three um grinder so it makes life a little bit faster um i mean we could put a welding on the front of the ship and that could help speed things up too potentially But this debris is looking good. This is perfect. Because this is going to be a ship that I wasn't gonna, I'm not going to be able to <laughs> fix up anyways. So this works out. This definitely works out. Um, we'll just keep throwing stuff in there. We're probably going to run out of space sooner or later too. So that's going to be a problem. And I realized we lost a rocket launcher. Which had a bit of rockets too. So that's not great. All right, I think I should work around this a little bit better um, and actually work on getting that stuff first. But let's check out the ship really quick. So it looks like three seats. Oh, more than three seats. That's a lot of seats. I don't know if there's anything in there that's going to like a warhead or anything. I, I highly doubt it. I hope not. I don't hear any sensors or anything, so we should be okay. And what's going on here? He's telling us about the hole and everything like that. Battery stored. I don't know if there's actual script in here or is this just visually there? <laughs> I think it's just visually there. Oh, here's another rocket launcher. Awesome. Oh, wait. What am I taking out here? I'm going to take out a rocket launcher just in case. I could put back a rocket launcher down here. We need to. Um, can we even make a rocket launcher? Yes, we can. I mean, we probably don't even need it because we didn't even use it last time around for whatever reasons. We should have. <laughs> and 
Where's the port? Upwards or down? I think it was up. Right? I think that's how it was. I hope so, to be honest. Because, well, I could find out if, if it's not. It's not a big deal. There's no rock in here, so that's great. <laughs> was it like this or was it more in? I feel like it was or sticking out more. I think it was like that, though. Should be fine. Like, why does it have so much extra parts on hand? Okay. All right, let's just finish this. So part of the refurb again. So this might have been this. No, that doesn't make sense. This would make a little bit more sense. But we'll do that temporarily <laughs> until we really, really figure it out. Like what was supposed to be there. Um, I don't know if there's anything in these seats. I highly doubt it. It'll be interesting if there was GPS pointers <laughs> to like a pirate base or something like that, right? Let's see. No, nothing in the seats. That's fine. <laughs> Never know. They gotta try. All right. We'll take care of all this. We're basically gonna strip everything. I think. I think I'm gonna try to save the battery, but not sure how that's gonna go. There's about one battery there, right here. Um, this side doesn't have a battery, so that's all gone. What's over here? We have beacons and just more scrap. So we're gonna just grab this. The beacon should be running with the battery, I think. Right? Because or is it the antenna that's doing the naming convention here? I like how the beacon's surrounded by windows. So that's really interesting. I don't think there's any batteries on this thing. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, I don't think there's any batteries on this thing. Doesn't look like it. That's fine. Um. Yeah, but the scraps. We can take over. Ooh, and we got some, uh, and this is an iron thruster ship, so that's going to help us get some iron thrust if we need it. That is going to run us on power, but we have hydrogen, hydrogen engines, so we should have somewhat decent power in that case. And we got kind of lucky too, because we got a hydrogen tank filled ship attached to us now. But yeah, I, I think we're going to kind of scrap this off camera first. And then we'll rebuild the ship on camera or refurb the ship on camera because this is going to take some time. Yeah, so once I scrap everything, rebuild the ship, we can move on to the next mission and find more ships to put together. And of course, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to drop a comment down below even to just say hi. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.